Tina, and our, I want to blow up her ego so that maybe later on she can buy me drinks. <laughs> Tina Sablon was running, and I, I remember at one night we got into a, an argument, and I walked off because I was so worried about her not winning because she did not want to do the things that I felt was right campaigning properly, marketing, effective marketing. And she said, It's much bigger than me. I want to represent all the people, but I want to do it the right way. And I told her, without knowing, apparently she knows so much better, she said, I know what I'm doing is right, and it feels right in my heart. She followed her heart, and she is here tonight because of her heart. And for that, I thank you. today because you want to exercise your right to speak out and participate in the decisions that affect your lives. It is not only your right to do that, our whole democracy is premised on the idea that you doing that is healthy and desirable. Now I saw some people here tonight that doesn't look like you've walked three miles in a while. And, and you can take it from me that uh, if you don't use those muscles, that you're going to be a little sore. <laughs> but with a little exercise, the more often you do it, the better it feels. And your constitutional rights are just like that. If you don't exercise them regularly, it gets harder for you to do so. Harder and harder and harder. But with a little practice, it's like riding a bicycle. You remember what to do, and it feels really good the more you do it. Love truly inspired us. He also inspired one another that this march is more than an expression of our cry, but rather in the nobility of this coming together, we already achieve our goal and purpose victoriously, promoting the universal truth of inner dignity of all. The labor and immigration system in the CNMI right now is non-functional. It 
hurts businesses, it hurts workers, it wastes money. And it's fundamentally unfair. And in the United States of America, we do not accept things that are fundamentally unfair. We believe in equal protection under the law. The Fifth Amendment to the United States Constitution has an equal protection com component. It says that everyone under the United States flag is entitled to equal protection under the law. And that means that the United States Congress cannot and should not accept a system of immigration that treats aliens in the CNMI differently than aliens in the United States of America, mainland United States of America. Now, I want to mention Wendy Dormo because Wendy Dormo started fighting against abuses many, many years ago, before I was a part of this. And I want to thank Wendy for being there, right there early on, and bringing the attention of some of these issues to the U.S. Congress and people and the press in the United States and so on early on. So let's give a big thank you to Wendy. of God. We are created in the image of God and your right is the same as my right, as this right, the same right as the other people. Don't allow anybody to abuse you to nothing because you are a creature of God and remember that. I always preach this to my classrooms, particularly at the Philippine Embassy because it's no longer the regular classroom. And even among my students in the high school before, I said, this is what I said, if you happen to be out there working in offices, please remember, treat each human being, anybody who comes to you as a human being, because they are. Okay. 
alien workers, do you want to live a life better than yesterday? What are you going to do? 